Street Fighter 2 on the Sega Master System again. Nineteen ninety seven. Uh, that's a bit late for the uh, the idiotic Street Fighter two craze. But uh, yes, let's just uh, start the game. Thank you. No, oh, I didn't want him actually. Oh fuck. Well, at least we test the uh, sprite size well. Well, the music does sound a bit uh, Atari ST Amstrad CPC sound chip. Yamaha YM2149 or AY8192 The graphics are nice uh, You know, the graphics are up there with the Amiga version only because the Amiga version is programmed by cocksuckers actually the ST version is programmed by cocksuckers as well. The ST could do a much better version of Street Fighter than what was released. Street Fighter 2, I'm talking about now. Um, <clears throat> but they kind of move in like, uh, there's an 8 bitness to the movement of your character. It's not to do with the frames of animation, they do actually sort of move in character blocks. Which seems a bit weird, because Pressing both buttons does anything interesting? Not really. Oh, bloody hell, where's the rest of the ship with all the people on it? So they've taken some liberties there. Uh, but you know, it doesn't really change the game at all. Ah, uh, you know what I'm going to say? If I had a Sega Master System in 1989, just before the Mega Drive came out, I would have been happy anyway. But I would have later on seen that there's some horrendous games on the ST and Amiga. Real shit arcade conversions. And, uh, you know, this really shows how much effort the console manufacturers put into their conversions. Now, this is probably a Brazil only sort of thing, I know that. I, it's not just the C64 that's like, you know, not the right hardware for uh, running something like Street Fighter 2. But, uh, you know, uh, Nintendo as well, which is basically a Famicom. Um, you know. So, you win. I mean, if games like this were coming out for the uh, SMS, and they oh, still have the uh, card slot, fight. so you could have the cheaper games, well, I don't think a game like this would fit on the card. So really, you've got to compare games like this with games like International Karate on the, uh, the old 8-bit computers. And you get an idea of, you know, just how much later things are. However, you know, if you are going to be playing on a console with an 8-bit CPU. See what I did there? I didn't say it was an 8-bit console. Uh, you want to be playing Street Fighter 2 on the uh, PC engine. You win! 
Which is better, actually, than the SNES version. I don't care what you say. And... But really, you want to be playing it on the Mega Drive. Now, I was going to turn it off, but the uh, lovely Chun Li has uh, appeared on the Mad Commodore Breakfast Show, which isn't a thing yet. Might never be a thing. Might have to go and have dental work and die from coronavirus. Fuck you. I mean, look how much nicer Chun Li looks here than uh, any 8 bit home computer port. Or even the NES Pirate version, which is pretty ropey actually. You win! You win! If you uh, didn't have to rely on US Gold to give you shit arcade conversion.